It's the NFL on EA Sports, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Minnesota Vikings and the Carolina Panthers, and it's kicking off next on Madden NFL 25. It's been the Panthers since 1996. Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. We welcome you to EA Sports coverage of the National Football League. So good to have you with us, Mike Tirico and Greg Olson here in the booth. There are a couple of teams that struggled a year ago, finished out of the playoffs. They were under 500, but that's what you love about the NFL. A new season brings renewed optimism. Absolutely, and really, Mike, a lot of new faces at critical places. I mean, there is a lot of new pieces to the puzzle here, both coaching staff and the roster of players. They believe last year is over. They do not think there is any correlation between the squad they're planning to put on the field today and that one that we saw really go through some growing pains and struggles just a year ago. It is the rookie from Alabama, Will Riker, to get us started. And off we go from Charlotte. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Panthers now ready to get to work on offense for the first time. They are led out by the veteran. One that called the Red Rifle. Being back to his old days in TPU. It's Andy Dalton. The man the known around the league as the Red, red Rifle, rifle and his wife's NFL career has had up, up until this point, Mike. I mean, think back. At one point, he's the Pro Bowl quarterback and team leading his team, team, team to the playoffs. playoffs. Now, he's the experienced back. back. He's bringing a lot of veteran presence to every locker room who finds himself. And one thing's for certain, when he gets a shot to play in the game, he can certainly do a lot worse than having him in your starting line. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a game of eight on the ground. So come to the line now on second and two. Now the first carry for Chuba Hubbard. He's beyond midfield, 245. And he's going to be taken down. Second and short. Normally, this is a great time, Mike, to put the ball in the air and try to press the ball downfield. But in this case, they keep it on the ground. It has a similar effect. They pick up a good game and a first down. First and ten. Now, Dalton. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down in bounds. Good spot here, second and a yard. A give up the middle, it's Hubbard. And he'll get past the marker. So he's got a first down on that gain of five. You have, you have to rush, to rush the quarterback, the quarterback as, as a unit. unit. Keep, keep him in the pocket. Keep him, keep him on that X. X. And when you, you do, do then he becomes, becomes a sit and duck for this match. Yeah. Work to do now is they come up on second, on second and long. long. Man in motion, head to head left. left. First, First sack of the game. He'll find his tight end, Tommy Tremble. I think Dalton who beat the Bengals in Cincinnati a couple weeks ago, a couple days ago, winning against them, his former team, Cincinnati, whooping that ass, and Joe Barrow, bitch ass, down to the ground. Get the first dub. First, now they're trying to be 
uh, 2-0. And and this outstanding Minnesota defense. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. Well, this is the tough defense. We're starting to see a lot of this this third down by Grinnell rely on the run after catch to pick up these third down conversions. You know what that depends on? You have to actually complete the ball. In this case, it falls incomplete, brings up a fourth down. Here's Eddie Pinheiro now as the Panthers are trying to field goal. Officially, this will be a 43 yarder. Pinheiro's kicker is good. And the Panthers are out to an early 3 nothing lead. I can do that. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Here's the Minnesota offense. They can be the first time. They're led out by the number three overall kick back in 2018 draft. Out of USC, it's Sam Darnold. I think it's fair to say the trajectory of his career hasn't gone exactly according to plan. But you don't get drafted as the third overall pick unless you have a ridiculous amount of talent. He's bounced around a few places throughout his career. He's had some ups and downs. But when he's on his game, he is as talented a thrower as there is in the NFL. And an impressive outing today could go a long way in making him back a full-time starter. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. From the shot shot, here is Darnold. He'll go right back to Jefferson. They connect again. And he's going to be taken down right at midfield. First down, Vikings. Here is the So they come to the line for first down and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. Got a man, that sure feels. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. Darnold to the air for the ball. A short one taken by Hawkinson. So the hope is, when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on them early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get a real big play that they open it for, but they'll definitely take it. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and eight. Man of three is green and gold for Viking Purple is Aaron Jones. And this is the original He's brought down inside the 20 yard line. This is how you teach your opening position when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. They'll run the toss here with Jones. And this time they are ready for it. He'll be full for a loss. No big game at Mary. It's second down. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. That one's to the sideline completely. Nice grab as he stays in bounds. Here comes third and six. 
working out of the gun. It's Darnold. Oh, swing in the pot. Oh, that's it. Really nice job here, not only avoiding the rush on third down, but quickly finding that crease, get downfield, and he's able to pick up the first down. This open drive has been a work of art. Now, can they put the face touches on It's first and goal. Now right here with Jones. He'll try to push forward, but only a yard down to the two. They deserve, they deserve some praise, praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really, and it really only takes one guy to distort the defense, the defense and win his block. But in this, this case, give credit, give credit to the entire unit. They, they did their, their job, job and they, they reward their offense with a touchdown. He kicks this one away. On the return, it's Cuba. Cuba. He'll get this out to the 28 yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. The Panthers are ready to get going with their second possession. Trail by four, touchdown, gives you the lead. Drive back in with first attempt. Dalton got a Dalton. Short one there. Caught by Tremble. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30 yard line. Oh. 
Going down the center of the field, oh, man, and it's taken in. A pickup there of 28 yards. <laughs> The break the huddle, coming up now for first and ten. They'll put Allison in motion. On first and ten, here's Darnold. To the left side here, caught by Addison. That's a gain of 16, his offense is coming. A first down. They take your play in zone defense, and everybody's eyes are on the quarterback. It's really, it's really easy, easy to lose sight of some of the receivers. That's exactly what happened here. here he started all the way on the far side of the field and worked his way across. Found a soft spot in the zone, and the quarterback's able to put it on. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. Again, it's Jones. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing new. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized there was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no gain. That's to get this to the 20. Here's third down. Darnold. Hey, I'm the press of the gun. Damian Crowney's still at it, and he still has it. He gets the sack. Defense came in in a soft zone, and I think it caught the quarterback a little off guard. He was trying to attack them downfield. By the time he was able to get through his progression, he was down. He ran out of time, and that's all the pass rush needed to get to the backfield and bring it back. Now comes Ryan Wright to punt for Minnesota. Panthers have the near Smith bar set out for the return. The hell is that? So that one's gonna land out of bounds, and the officials gonna mark it right at the 20 yard line. The Panthers offense and their back to the set to come back on the field. They leave a field goal as they work work with a first in check. Turn that bullshit on. Turn that bullshit all the way on. Let's make that copyright shit. Oh, I intercepted. Intercepted. Picked off by a Caleb Evans. And he's going to be brought down. What a turn of events here. He has given his guys the first and ten in the win. Oh, no, you know, when you're building a roster, this is not the only thing that you can do. You need to start doing it. Offenses are going to roll out two, three, four high level receivers in this past first motion era. If you can roll out five DBs and all of them hold their own and be trusted to hold up, you are going to struggle defending these pass first modern offenses. A first set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. On the handoff, Joe. Trying to bounce that outside. It went a long way for a game of nothing. Patience is a great quality of a running back. You have to wait for holes and gaps to develop. But in this but in case, Mike, he just kept waiting and waiting, and nothing ended up happening. No game. He'll try again here. Second, second and ten. Second. They run it once more with Joe. Only a couple on that one. It'll set up third down.
Yeah, throw down already? Damn. I know about that defense. Getting that ball back. It's crazy. Now, it's awesome. That's into the hands of Aaron Jones. And a good job with the defense. They did not let him get away. Well short of the first down mark. Fourth down, on comes the rookie, Bill Riker, to try this Viking field goal. This is about as short as you can get. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Vikings will level the score at 10 apiece. Six minutes, maybe eight seconds left. Got a lot of things down. Got a lot of comment against the Carolina. The Carolina quarterback of putting work. You know, I ain't a quarterback in the bench. <laughs> better start a game. This has got a good team. But we'll see. But, uh, the Alter. But the Alter's doing this thing, well. After that, I mean, besides that damn first, that interception, he's doing the start. Dalton with a different breed against Cincinnati, man. He had demons against Cincinnati. <laughs> oh! Slow! It's fun. We hear the term RPO so often, and it continues to kind of trickle its way into the NFL. But remember, it's a lot different in the NFL than it is in the college game. It's a lot more prevalent. The lineman cannot go downfield. So that quarterback has to make a lot of really fast snapshot decisions, or else it's going to be a lot of penalty for him holding on to the ball too long. So, so it's something, it's something that, that teams, teams want to implement, but maybe, maybe not quite, quite for the level that we see in the college. Last month. His tight end tremble over the middle. And they bring him down inside the 25 yard line. The thing that jumps out to me the most, Mike, is just how often the quarterback is able to throw the ball to his first read in the progression. So hats off to the play call. Him and the quarterback seeing the game through the exact same set of eyes. And there is a lot of line for the line. Oh, two to the line and in. Deontay Johnson. Touchdown, Caroline. You know, Mike, at this level, not all touchdowns are created equal. There are some plays that result in touchdowns, and then there are touchdown strikes. And this one is the line. I mean, you talk about a confident throw ball on the money downfield. It doesn't, it doesn't get a lot better than this, this and, and his receivers are able to take it in six. six. Now, now in Europe, Europe, to add on the extra point. point. Easy pass, and the pass is going by seven. It is now 17 to 10.
So now after the touchdown, and he has to kick it away. Chandler now to return it. He'll get this up to the 28-yard line. Nice place for the drive to start. Out comes the Minnesota offensive unit as they get set to take over. Five of the South Australians, 17-10 now. They come up with first down and ten. The drive begins with a carry by Jones, and they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. The ability to be effective on first down, Mike, it just makes everything else easier. In the event you do have to face a third down down the road, they're usually a lot more manageable situations, a lot easier to convert. Throwing on first and 10 is Darnold. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Now, there's not a lot to this route. Man coverage, and you got a drag route. Give them a little something off the line, and go. Wind with speed, good accurate ball on the front shoulder pad, allows him to pick up the rest after the catch, and leads to a big game. They'll come up here first and ten. On play action, here's Darnold. This one is caught by Addison. And they're going to take this into the red zone to the 15-yard line. A gain of 27 on the play. First down, Minnesota. Darnold now on first and 10. Open man is Brandon Powell. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Darnold to the air once more. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. He was looking for TJ Hawkinson on that one. And it's going to bring up the third down. You can just see the reaction on the sideline. This defense thought they had themselves a critical stop. The mantra down here for all defensive coordinators, Mike, is takeaways, field goals. That's what you're trying to do. And, man, they were this close to coming away. That one is caught in the back of the end zone. Justin Jefferson. Touchdown, Minnesota. Really nice job here by the quarterback, just buying a little extra time, waiting for his man to uncover on the back of the end zone. And then it just becomes, let's rip it and throw that ball in that window. Because it might not stay open for long, but he puts it right where it needs to be. Touchdown. Will Riker now on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Vikings will come back to tie things at 17. Time for the kickoff. To return is Hubbard. And he'll be set up well as he is past the 35-yard line. The Panthers offense and their quarterback headed out for their next possession. They'll work in a tie game here in the second quarter and get started with first and ten.
Tremble comes in motion. Get this drive started on the ground. It's Hubbard. And not a whole lot going to come from that one. Go to about the 39. Second down and eight. On second down, it's Brooks. And they'll have it across midfield, now at the opposing 46-yard line. It's not just the blockers creating yards for him out there. He created most of that yardage on his own, shrugging off the initial tackle attempt and continuing to rumble downfield. Here's first and ten. Tremble comes in motion. On the give, it's Hubbard. And he is crushed in the backfield. Defenders firing through. Shut it down right away for a loss of yard. After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Now it's Dalton. To set up the screen here to Hubbard. On the move, past the 40. They'll look to pick this up, third and a yard. To throw is Dalton. They'll try to set up the screen here. And he's going to have the first down as he gets out of bounds. And he stopped the clock as well. Well, a little unconventional play call here. You don't traditionally see the screen games used on third down at these shorter down and distances. But in this case, they catch the defense off guard. They time it up well. And the back is able to convert and pick up the first down. Dalton. Deontay Johnson, the intended target there. And it'll bring up second down. I'm not sure there's any position on defense that's undergone as much of an evolution as the linebacker position. In the old days, they were the physical tone setters. They were the tacklers. But now, it's their ability to hold up in coverage, like you saw there, that allows you to keep those guys on the field for all three downs. You'll get about six before he's taken down. Here's a third down and four. The motion man is Johnson. They'll throw here on third and short. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. Well, so often we see quarterbacks standing in the pocket, holding it, seeing if they can create something downfield. Well. Not that play. That play was simple. Snap the ball to the quarterback, spit it out into the hands of your receiver, and let's see what he can do. They'll have to go the full 10 yards. It's first and goal. They'll look to throw yet again. Looking left side is tight end Tremble. Ball right on the five-yard line, second down and goal. Here's Dalton. And he'll take it on in. Adam Thielen. Touchdown, Panthers. Pinheiro on for the extra point. Oh, yeah. 
The kick is good. Panthers will go up by seven. This first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And a decent return there. He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Vikings offense can see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. out of the gun it's Darnold this pass right side gonna be caught by Addison that's a nice pickup on a first down it's a gain of eight we'll go to the line now on second and two from the shotgun, here's Darnold. To the middle of the field, taken in by Addison. That's a second charge timeout for Minnesota. Clock will stop just under 30 seconds to go in this second quarter. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Operating from the gun, it's Darnold. Over the middle, that's the tight end, Hawkinson. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. A good spot here, second and a yard. Here's Darnold again. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I know this play results in an incomplete pass, but I think this is a really good job by the quarterback. His clock was going off. He felt that rush. He had no immediate target to go to with the ball. Instead, throw it away. Don't take the sack. Live for another day. On third and a yard, here's Darnold. They're going to get to him and take him down. Take him back to the other side of midfield. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each reporting a sack. Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection? How can we get extra bodies and extra attention? Because we still got a long way to go in this one. So we have reached halftime with these two teams separated by a touchdown as we get you down to Florida, Orlando specifically, for the coaches, Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment. But for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports halftime report. We saw a strong first half out of the veteran quarterback, Andy Dalton. He came on after a slow start to fire two second-quarter touchdown passes and give his guys the lead at the intermission. Coach, thank you. Not a rest at the break for the defensive coordinators trying to figure out how to stop these offenses as we get ready for the second half. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. 
Nice job on the return. He's down close to the 35-yard line. The Vikings offense is going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They'll begin with first and 10. Play fake to Jones, and now Darnold. In trouble, and down he goes. They probably would have been better off just handing the ball off to the running back, Mike, because when they used him as a decoy, nobody fell for it. By the time he finished his fake and got his head around, the defense was all over. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Darnold. Oh. He runs with it. A gain there of 27 yards. This is an element to his game that we don't necessarily spend a lot of time talking about. He's not known as a traditional runner at the quarterback position. But when he has some space like he had here, he is more than capable of not only converting first downs, but picking up big chunk plays. First and 10. Slot man in motion right. He'll go play action with Darnold. Oh, that's caught downfield by Jefferson. And he's in. Justin Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings. Two touchdowns for him now on the afternoon. A terrific play all the way around. Finished off by the receiver, who not only made the grab, but Greg turned it up and takes it into the end zone. And that's the tricky part, Mike, that transition from receiver to runner. And in this case, he does it flawlessly. Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then get upfield and get yourself in the end zone. Riker, good with the extra point. And the Vikings will tie this game at 24. the touchdown in time for the kickoff to return is Hubbard and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25 yard line the home team's offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more and I want to take you through the highlights here they have been plentiful from the quarterback position has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout and we'll try to sustain it here down the stretch. Throwing, Dalton. That's to the left side, hauled in by Lee Gett. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Tremble comes in motion. We're going to run right over center with Hubbard. He'll bring this to the 40. That's good enough to move those chains. It's a first down.
The motion man is Sanders. On first down, it's right back to Hubbard. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. Three. Dalton to throw. Yeah. And that's a first down. It will be a game of eight. Tremble comes in motion. On play action, he'll set up to throw. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. So the best thing this wide receiver is able to do here, Mike, on this crossing route is once he gets the ball in his hands, he's able to put his foot in the ground and get vertical. So often, you see these guys get strung out sideline to sideline, and they're not able to pick up big yards after the catch. So really nice job here, and it leads to a big game. A give up the middle, it's Hubbard. And he'll get about six there, setting up second down. They send the receiver in motion left. Oh, this one to the tight end, Tremble. And he's going to be brought down just outside the 10 yard line. Really nice job here by the tight end, understanding that if you're not open, get open. And if you are open, stay open. He found a nice void in the zone on the backside of the defense, friendly to the quarterback. Nice pick. Great game against the Falcons, man. Kirk Cousins. And a short pickup. Down in Minnesota at Minnesota. In the big stadium and tough loss. Tough loss by lost by three points. And now Darnold is having a homecoming of his own here tonight. It's, it's crazy. Oh, maybe a free play. Oh, flag, what the hell? Oh, ooh. Offense, defense. Oh, able to get it down inside the five. Defense, bam, offsides. Damn, all this people. Still second down. I'll try it one more time, but now a bit closer. It is second and goal. Now off the bootleg, he'll look to the Oh, damn it! Oh, the blitz overwhelming the offensive line, and down he goes. What started out as a promising drive seemed inevitable, Mike, with the way they were able to continue to move the ball, that they'd find themselves finishing with points. But I went out with the flag with the penalty instead of strong. And this drive looks suddenly very different. Good drive now faces a tough conversion. It is third and long. Now Dalton. Oh. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. I think as the offense comes to the sideline now, the quarterback and his wide receivers need to get together and say, hey guys, what are you seeing out there? How can we find some open targets? Because on that last down, there was nowhere to go with the ball. Eddie Pinheiro going to come on to try a field goal now. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Panthers will move out in front. 
So Pinheiro had the field goal a moment ago. And now he's back out to kick it away. Chandler now to return it. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Vikings offense and Sam Darnold heading back on the field. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. Set to go now on first and ten. Here's Darnold. Hey. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. When you can bring cornerbacks on pressure, so that, that changes step. everything for the defensive play caller. Offense is spent on worrying about linebackers, defensive linemen. How are they going to protect the quarterback? But when you can time up a secondary Back. pressure like this, man, oftentimes Back. there's no answer for it. No answer. Second time he's playing for the he was close. He got a long He got Jefferson. This is Jones. Oh. No. Very positive oh, returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. Third and a yard. 77 to help you out, guys. Get back there. The try and run for the first down with Jones. That's a gain of 18 yards. And that's a heck of a run there on third and one. So often these backs, they're just thinking, all right, just get one yard, pick up the first down. But not this guy. He's thinking, I know where the marker is, but I'm going to pick up as many yards after that as I can. That's exactly what he does. Fresh set of downs. On play action, here's Darnold. Open man downfield, it's Addison. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. to yeah. Jones, oh. heading right. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. A run. Dang. It's Jones. And he'll get maybe about four yards out of that one. Playing close quickly. And here comes third down. Third down, third and three. Now a handoff. Damn. Jones. Defense ready, stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. It sets up fourth down. That's a great job defensively. The goal of every defense in the NFL is to accomplish one of two things. Turnovers, force field goals. In this case, the big third down stop is most likely going to lead to the latter. Really nice job there in the red zone. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Vikings will tie the game here in the third quarter. So touchdowns are always the primary Tiger. goal of every drive. But when you find yourself down three here in the second half, you've just got to find a way to tie the game up. And they were able to do that here. 